Hello, hello. I have arrived in San Diego. Got the city view from my balcony. I am keeping it very chill tonight. I was gonna go and do something with friends that I have here, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just chill so I can wake up early and really enjoy the morning here. So I ended up ordering food from True Food Kitchen. I'll show that when it comes. I have my little, it's like a yoga mat cover set up yeah so I'm gonna do some stretches here I've been so bad about doing stretches lately um since I've been like back at work and whatnot I just haven't been stretching and like after just sitting on the plane it's kind of like hunched over since we're not doing a whole lot with work and whatnot I just feel gross oh my god by the way they tried to give me room 666 i don't even want to say it out loud I'm not condemning i'm not i'm not calling on the devil um, but yeah they tried to give me room 666 and i was just like uh ha, ha. like can i have a different room and they were like oh ha, ha. and i'm like no like dead serious can i have a different room i'm not one to be like super superstitious but i am pretty spiritual and i do believe in certain meanings of things and i just i don't know I don't want that room. I didn't want, it would have been on a higher level, probably would have had a better view, but I just don't want that room. So they gave me a different room. I walked in here though, and it kind of smelled like cigarette smoke, but whatever, I'd, I'd rather deal with that than deal with the freaking mark of the devil. That, and then like the pilots wanted to go get drinks somewhere with the crew, and I was just not about it. Sometimes I'm just not about like having fun, unless it's with like good friends that I'm working with, people that I like really vibe with. And they're nice, but I'm just, it's not worth it for me if I'm just like cool with the people to like go out and do something when I could just vibe and chill in the hotel room, do my stretches, I'm gonna do a face mask, eat my food, watch YouTube, listen to podcasts. I just love to do my own thing. appropriate <laughs> attire to go pick up my food in the hotel lobby I mean okay like when I walk it doesn't look like I'm wearing shorts but I obviously am whatever all right I got my foods true food kitchen let's see what it looks like I got a burger lettuce wrap turkey burger and then sweet potato hash but it looks pretty good and i have some hot sauce that i always keep with me that i'm gonna use no matter how good the laughs are them spread this is the shit i missed sitting around in my hotel room all the privacy in the world listening to joe rogan interview nikki glasser looking at the skyline <clears throat> minding my damn business as I do best. Oh, <gasps> that is so satisfying. The glamorous life of a flight attendant. YouTube in my bed with a face mask. Oh my God, it's all on my eyebrows. Good morning. It is 7.34 here in San Diego. I put some makeup on today because I'm gonna try to get my passport picture taken. I had my passport, two passports, stolen like a little over a month ago. That is a long story, a crazy long story. But this morning was so nice. I finally just had got to have like a full morning to myself and i haven't had that in so long just wake up when i wanted to wake up do my journaling do my meditation i did uh mimi bouchard radiant health guided meditation off the mimi method app um i really recommend looking into that if you haven't yet her meditations are incredible her walking meditations are my favorite but yeah 
So I'm just gonna go head out and grab that charger and hopefully get my passport picture taken. Oh my God. There are these bugs that just keep flying in here. the farmer's market and I got some really really good stuff for my flight back and for like breakfast this morning I woke up feeling super bloated and kind of gross this morning and like even as I look in the mirror I'm just kind of like Ugh. I'm lately I've been waking up with like a fairly flat stomach just because of the way I've been eating and taking care of myself all summer and this morning was the first morning where I was just like I feel pretty gross and I already had like bloat and my stomach was like moving around and making sounds right upon waking and I know that a lot of it has to do with the fact that I ate late last night which I usually never do I don't condone eating late I just need to I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> excuse me I just need to prepare better and I should have brought more food I think another part of it is I ate a ton yesterday and then ordering food late last night I have a feeling part of it was because I was tired and I think your body gets a little bit confused because looking at my phone it's like 8 o'clock here but it's really 11 p.m. which I would never eat that late at home on the East Coast so it's like was I hungry or was I tired and I didn't really give myself a chance to like really feel that or think that I just ordered food the food was good the food was healthy so I'm glad I didn't just like binge on junk food at the last minute but anyway I know that has a lot to do with why I felt kind of gross this morning but when I feel this way especially like a little dehydrated maybe I was retaining water or still am because I'm back to flying a lot I what I do to reset myself and to kind of like help my body um, get back to like its normal place one hydrate a lot of times cravings kick in when you're dehydrated and flying dehydrates you I haven't been super on top of drinking water like I normally am which isn't great and I need to get better at it I have my chlorophyll water over there I'm gonna start drinking way more of it and I have another big bottle of water over here but the biggest thing I can recommend is eat like fresh, healthy, natural foods in their whole form. I try to stay away from eating drying foods on the plane, like processed packaged stuff, um, or like even like crackers. I try not to, even if it's like a healthy cracker, I try to eat as hydrating as possible. I try to get my water from my food as well as drinking it, obviously, just so that your body, it's... It, for one, it digests it better. It digests your food better. It's easier on your digestive system, which is honestly like kind of going through a lot when you fly, especially as a flight attendant when you're flying a lot. You want to eat things that are easily digestible. So I'm going to try to get in as many fresh foods as possible today. I have to go back over into Little Italy, and I think I'm going to order a salad from this place called Parakeet Cafe that is so freaking good. I'm going to order it to go. Um, but this is what I got from, I'll stop rambling. This is what I got from the farmer's market. All right, for starters, this little pear 
and this peach, which I'm super excited about. These figs, which I need to eat now because they're already making a mess on the bed. These little, so I called them baby bell peppers, but the guy told me that they're called Tinker Bells, which is so freaking cute. So I got those and I'm gonna dip it in this guacamole, this fresh guacamole that I got. It looks so freaking good. Um, the guy working, there are two different types of avocados that they're made with and he recommended this one because it's a little different, but it looks so fire. And then I'm so excited about this pickled garlic with curry. I am going to stink up that galley so bad with my breath eating these gar these like cloves of garlic, but I don't care. Garlic is so, so, so important for your immunity, like, and just everything, like your whole mitochondria, micro microbiome system. Garlic is amazing for you, and it's not talked about enough in my opinion, but we really need to be working on our immune systems right now. But one last thing that I got, glutenless bread. Look at the ingredients. It looks so good. I'm really excited to try this. And it looks, it's like kind of dense, but it looks like moist. It's actually very heavy, but I know like a few slices of this will be really good on the flight. This is probably like the most dry, like thing that, that I'll have, processed thing that I'll have today. I have my chia seed pudding that I haven't eaten yet as well. But yeah, I'm excited about this. Again, I'm gonna get the salad from Parakeet Cafe. I still have to go get my passport picture taken. But it is absolutely stunning outside. And I am just enjoying this day before I have to start getting ready for work. super early so I have time to eat my salad before anyone starts boarding the salad is so good it's very colorful the salmon is good the avocado is good the dressing is amazing I'm like not holding my camera up we only have 40 people going back to Boston I'm hoping we can leave early and then I literally just have like a short period of time in Boston before I do the same trip over again but on the next layover, I'm going to be doing stuff with friends, most likely, and having fun. But this was just a super nice, chill layover where I got to do exactly what I want to do. Go to the farmer's market, get the coffee I like, go run my errands. I wasn't able to get my passport picture taken because the camera wasn't working at the right aid that I went to. So I'm just going to have to maybe do it in Boston. But that's it. So I'm being quiet because I am in my crash pad and there are people here so I don't want to bring like too much attention to myself but I'm adding the finishing touches to the video. I was going to make it one super long vlog but it ended up being like an hour long so I'm going to break it up into two different vlogs. But my name is Vera, apparently I haven't been saying that, it's just like something weird that I guess I don't do 
or that I don't think I need to do, but I obviously need to if this is the first video you've watched, please hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, and leave a comment if there's anything else you want to see or if there's anything in particular you enjoyed. I'm very new at this, so constructive, constructive criticism helps as well, but be nice, please. I'm sensitive. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Part two will be posted soon.